Big win. Love ranch on pizza. I can't believe you're getting ranch so bad. Hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie. That's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine. That's amore. All right, so we go to New York a lot. Every time we go to New York, we stop at Joe's. Joe's Pizza, best pizza in New York. I'll stand by that. Like, even if we've already had dinner, we go to Joe's after. We got pizza. But when we come back to LA, we can't find anything that's even close to Joe's. There is a Joe's here in LA, but it's not the same as the New York Joe's. So we're gonna drive around to a few of LA's best pizza spots and see how they stack up against New York slices. But first, we need a New York pizza expert. Jack, welcome to the car. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's good to be here. Am I an expert? I think so. I've eaten a lot of pizza in my life. We asked for an expert. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm an expert. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to four spots in LA today. We're gonna do all cheese slices to keep it consistent. And what are we looking for? Ultimately, it's the three things, the cheese, the sauce, and the dough, and how all three of them work together in concert. And when it's really doing its thing, you're gonna have a nice greasy slice and something that tastes like it's authentically New York. So at the end, Jack is gonna tell you which slice is the best LA slice and if it stacks up to New York. Welcome to The Slice is Right. Oh, that's good. The slices. Did you just come up with that? That's a good the name. The slices, that is right? Amazing. Woo! Let's eat. All right. I'm starving. Let's go. Oh, it's gonna be a good day. First spot on the list is Prime Pizza on Fairfax. This is a relatively new spot with a lot of hype. Fairfax is like the hype beast street in LA. And right where Prime is, it's like across the street from Supreme. You got diamond footwear. It's a lot of hype in the area and Prime fits right into that. They sell their own merch. They have like hats that look like Nike, which are really rad. And I think they have the best slice in Los Angeles. A perfect find for homesick New Yorkers, the best true New York style pizza in the city right now. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. I would love playing slice, three slices. All right, here we go, prime pizza. Go for the fold, as always. This is how a New Yorker, a real New Yorker, eats a slice. Wow. A lot of basil in that bite, which is giving the pizza most of its flavor. The crust is super good, super crunchy and tasty. I love when a slice is dripping with oil, and there's no drip here. There's very little oil on it. Maybe that's like an LA health conscious thing, but any great New York slice, you're gonna see the oil dripping off the pizza, and look, we're getting none of that here. It's good. It's not knocking my socks off. I think we're gonna go with a six and a half out of 10 for prime pizza. Stop one, done. Stop two, pizzeria mozza. So here's the thing. Pizzeria mozza is attached to a high-end restaurant called Osteria mozza. Or is it Osteria? Osteria. Oh, you know what? I should know this. Do you know? It's Osteria. 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 Okay. Yeah. Osteria Moza is connected to Pizzeria Moza. Pizzeria Moza has a takeaway window. That's where we're going. But you may have to get a whole pie. We're not positive if they do by the slice. Where does that stand? What's New that? York pizza, I think, has to be by the slice. But we'll get a pie anyway. See how it tastes. See how it stands up. It's also a fairly polarizing place in LA based on the reviews. No, Pizzeria Moza is not the best pizza in that in LA. But that doesn't mean it's not still a good restaurant. Interesting. From Zagat. No exaggeration, they've practically perfected the art of pizza. Known for Nancy's fabulous pies. We gotta get one of Nancy's fabulous pies, I guess. Let's go. There we go. Right. Hi. You don't do any pizza by the slice here. No. First thing to know about Moza, 15 minute wait for a pie. Prime pizza was just grab and go, basically. Also, this is not pizza by the slice, so immediate DQ. <laughs> DQ'd, but you kinda have to come here. It's a part of the conversation. This is gonna be the most expensive pizza we consume all day. It's personal pizza, four slices, 20 bucks. Wow. We'll see you in 15 minutes. Thank you. Bam, wow. Okay. That crust does look really good. The sauce is promising, we got a deep red. What I'm really excited about is these bubbles here, these air bubbles. One of my favorite signs of a good slice. Oh man. That's phenomenal. All right, I need a slice. Dig in there. Oh, 
Colin, that is extremely tasty. You got sauce in your beard. Fine. It's all about the sauce. The sauce is the boss at Moza. We're gonna do a little drip test here. There's the sauce is dripping. That's not the same thing as the oil. It's a very wet sauce on here. I'm gonna go with a 7.5 on this one. Tasty, delicious slice, but a lot of room for improvement. Oh, that crunch is great though. Yeah. Two down. Couple more to go. Yeah, we got a lot Who more knows to go. How many more actually? Yeah, we'll see. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's more. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's more. Third spot is La Monica's in Westwood. This is basically the campus of UCLA. So there's a lot of students, there's a lot to do here, a lot of foot traffic. It's a great grab and go spot. I used to come here all the time when I was a kid. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. La Monica's. This one better be good. It's good. Three slices of cheese left. I mean, this is a good omen right now. This feels to me what a pizza place is supposed to feel like when you walk in. This feels right. Look at that. It feels like we're in New York. This is a real New York slice. We got a nice crispy bottom on the crust, but soft in the middle. It's classic. I like it. I think this is the best so far. Oh, yeah. Mm. Unbelievable slice. No frills here, just yeah. pizza. It's the first place where I felt like I needed another slice. Went back for seconds. A good sign. La Monica's is by far my favorite slice we've had so far. I'm gonna give it a 9.5. It's the closest thing to New York pizza we've had in LA so far. You could pick this up, a similar slice, I think, anywhere in New York City. It's just the real deal. The crust is great. Everything about this slice is spot on. Slice so nice, we ordered it twice. I just got a real, okay. like New York. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Alright guys, we're gonna be in traffic for the next hour. So quick pizza poll. Pineapple on pizza. There's only one answer. I'll tell you what, I'm okay with it. I like it. I would never get that. Have you ever tried it? Yeah, you have to be a psycho to get that. Wow, wow. Right. I felt like an aggressive <laughs> stance. <laughs> Sorry, <Jesus. laughs> I felt too aggressive. There's a poll yeah. in the corner. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? We're coming up to the last spot of the day, Pizza Nista in the Arts District. So the Arts District of LA is kind of like the most developing area that we've been in. It's close to downtown and there's a ton of construction going on. All these restaurants are starting to pop up and Pizza Nista has a ton of buzz around it. They're also run by like skateboarders, so there's like cool art in there and like it's kind of got a grungy vibe. They also have cool merch, similar to Prime Pizza. From Kevin W, Pizza Nista is the fanciest hole in the wall pizza joint I've ever been to. And then another one, best NYC style pizza in LA. Wow, bold. Bold. That's kind of what we're looking for. That is right. what we're looking for. Let's go. Here we go. Might go two slices here. Two slices at the end of the day. You got a lot of great grease on there. The crust, you got bubbles in the crust is what you're looking for. It's the real deal. Here we go. So what I really like about this pizza, see that? How the oil drips right off it, the grease. That's a sign of a good slice right there. A little softer than I like for the crust. I typically like this crust to be, have a little bit more crunch to it. It does have a good New York vibe to it. This slice tastes like something you would get in New York City. Good job, Pizza Nista. Relative to all the other slices we had today, I'm gonna go with a 9.0 for this slice. Very high, very delicious, but not the best slice of the day. Try dipping it in this ranch. That might, you know. I will lose all my credibility as a New York pizza critic if I dip my pizza in that ranch. Don't do that, don't do it. Taste it without me. Oh, yeah. It was a lot of pizza. 
So how does LA pizza stack up to New York pizza? Overall, obviously not as good, not as consistent. You can't get a great slice wow. around oh, wow. the city the <laughs> same like, way. That's you can a little harsh. A little more aggressive than I expected, to be honest. Okay. But right. there are places, you know, where you get a good slice. It's true. You're not going to take on New York, the king of pizza, the global king of pizza. We're close, though. We're close, right? Yeah. Nah, well, not that okay. close. All right, well, you know, what can you do? All right, four slices of pizza today. Which slice was right? It was the most authentically New York of all. And it tasted delicious. So next time you're in LA, if you're craving some New York pizza, La Monica's. That's it for the slices, right? I hope you enjoyed those four spots. Go check them all out. Let us know if you do. Tag us on Instagram if you eat a slice of pizza. Actually, anywhere in the world. If you're eating pizza, send it to us. Yes, definitely. And comment below what type of food should we review next? Great burgers in LA. Tacos. Yeah, tacos. Definitely tacos. Ooh. Burritos. Burgers. The song you heard in this episode was a custom pizza song by Diala. Thanks, Diala, for making it. Link to her stuff in the description. Yeah. Actually, at this point, Colin's never heard the song. Crank that shit. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Come on. Whoa. Hits your eyes. Pizza pie, that's Woo, so Hicks fam, if y'all know, you know. Go to uh, Bravo's, bro. Honestly, Bravo's. I gotta say Bravo's. Yeah, Bravo's. B R A Z Z O. It's on Seventh and Main. There's Dominicos out there in Pasadena. Yeah. I feel like you guys mentioned a lot of places we did not go to. Yeah. We may have to do this again. We may have to do, an episode we may have to do this again.